Okay, <clears throat> so I want to um, make a video about adding servos. Uh, I'm going to be driving over to a customer site to help them do the solder work. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and do a step through on how to do it on the software side. Um, to do a servo, uh, the flight controller we have would pretty much have maxed out the 5 volt power rail. Um, and so therefore, uh, we I made some cables for this particular customer. Uh, they are some uh, servo extension servo cables with uh, 5 volt uh, voltage regulate step down voltage regulators wired in line. Um, so, so I'll be driving out there to, to solder it in place, uh, on Monday. Um, but the reason is, is so if you wanted to add a servo, uh, you do not want to p pull power off of the flight controller. Uh, servos are noisy and your flight controller, you want to reserve that five volt power for GPS and LIDAR and other more sensitive uh, components. Um, so to do a servo uh, specifically for this, the flight controller we're using, um, you need uh, first off to get power. So we, we made the cable, we'll be pulling power off of uh, battery power. Um, and then the other thing that you need to do is get your signal wire uh, in a location that will receive signal. Um, if you were using a, a PixHawk or ArduPilot flight controller, like a Durandel or uh, something like that, um, the auxiliary pins are already, the servo pins are already there. Um, this customer uh, we're bought racing Cobras and is, and we're, I'm helping them adapt it for a uh, local competition. Uh, so we're having to do some things a little bit different. Um, but either way, uh, so to add a servo, uh, first and foremost, you need to be on INAV 7. Um, I tried doing it in uh, a previous version and um, there's some some super technical parts that I even I don't really fully understand, but on multi-rotor flight controllers, the motor pads are associated with some form of timer. And so if you land your signal wire in the wrong location, potentially nothing's going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and connect up my flight controller. We show that we are connected. Connect. All right, this is a board I just recently updated, so it has not been calibrated, but the first thing we are going to do is we are going to come over to our mixer tab. Now, what we want to do is we want to add a new mixer rule under the server mixer section. So we're just going to do that. We're going to leave it named one. We need to be able to trigger the servo off of a switch. Uh, you click here and um, obviously you have your uh, stick inputs because normally uh, airplanes are using servos to move ailerons and elevators and that sort of thing. Um, so uh, actually stabilized, I think is like a some form of gimbal or, or, but then there's RC roll, pitch, y'all throw, I think might, those might be, um, I don't do planes, so I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, but, uh, either way, um, we are interested in RC channels five, six, seven, and eight. Um, I did the one, my test quad, I did channel eight, uh, because like I said, we're doing it on a racer. A, a Cobra Racer, uh, channel eight normally is reserved for turtle mode, which is flipping over uh, if you've crashed. Um, this particular application, they're gonna be flying indoors. Uh, I don't expect them to be flipping over and crashing. So I put the servo on channel eight. Um, 
you know, these channels right here directly correspond. If you go to your receiver tab, you'll see the switches and which switch uh, enables and disables each of these. Weight is how uh, far it swings, I think. Um, and then speed should be self-explanatory. Active is always active. And then I hit save and reboot. And so that should add it there. Now, the other thing we want to look at. Yeah, so right now, it put servo one on timer two. And so we have motor one on timer four, motor two on timer four, motor three on timer three, motor four on timer three. So what I wound up, and, and it was crazy because on my test quad, what I did I, in this configuration, when I activated my servo, it actually turned on the motor, motor number four over here. So what I wound up having to do was here, you can force change timer outputs. So what I wound up having to do was I made timer eight a servo and then I made timer two motors. And then I hit save and reboot. And again, this is specific to the Z's V3 flight controller we are doing. The timer configuration may be different if the timing configuration might be different between boards. The reason I just paused was because they're they're different between uh, versions. Because I did V2, this is a V3 board. When I did mine, I had to solder my servo signal wire on the motor seven pad. Here, all four motors are where they need to be. And then timer eight is on the motor five pad. So this is good to know for me because that means when I show up there Monday, I need to solder my servo signal wire to the motor five pad to make sure that it works. So that's, ha that's what I needed to point out. Um, so again, you need to be on seven to tackle the timer issue. Uh, on INAV version 7 to tackle this timer issue when trying to make multi-rotor flight controllers do what we want. So lots of disclaimers to voice in that one. Um, so either way, that is that uh, outputs. You're going to have your motor outputs, but then you're also going to have your servo output here. Um, just like you do your motor rotation check, you would click this and then hit the radial dial up and down. Um, I think you can hit this enable live mode and then activate the switch that you have uh, designated. Because um, remember over in the mixer, we said switch or channel eight is what was going to activate our servo. So in outputs, we would come over here. We would flip channel eight. If it didn't do anything, we would click this enable live mode and do it again just to make sure that we're getting movement. Um, and that is how you are going to uh, add your servo. Um, if you need to make adjustments, you can do it here in the output section. Um, and then, like I said, you're going to uh, the switch that you designated in your mixer tab is what would be activating the servo. Um, and I think that is it specific to adding a servo for the Z's V3 flight controller for INAV7. Um, again, if you have any comments or questions, uh, please let us know in the comments below. Or if you need to, you can email us at info at onpoint.com and we will be happy to respond. Thank you very much.